Here to present Phil Housley with his plaque is 2003 Hockey Hall of Fame inductee Pat Lafontaine. First of all, I'd just like Pat LaFontaine, uh, thank you for coming tonight. Um, yeah, I'd just like to thank the Hockey Hall of Fame. Um, I know uh, the best advice we got from everybody was to enjoy the weekend, and I think we've done that to some extent. Um, but uh, the Hockey Hall of Fame has just been really gracious to this when we've, re we've enjoyed each and every minute of it, and I know my family and I have really appreciate it. I'd like to congratulate the other inductees um, Bill and Peter, it must be the year of the defenseman and defense woman, and I know Sergey played, dabbled a little bit at D, uh, but just a great, great group of people, and I'm very blessed to go, be going in with you. You never start playing the game as a kid or enter the NHL and think that you'll become a Hall of Famer. However, I've been waiting for that call a long time. I'd like to thank the selection committee, Lanny McDonald, John Davidson, you, know, you just never forget that moment, as evident, uh, the picture my wife posted on Twitter uh, sort of went viral there with my jaw dropping, but you just never forget that, that day. And also I'd like to recognize David Poyle, who is also on the committee. We've crossed paths when I played in Washington and now uh, assistant coach with the National Predators. You know, when I think back, uh, who had a major impact in my life, I, I don't have to start too far. You know, obviously my mother and father, my mother Mary Lee and my dad Leroy. Uh, I'd like to thank my mom for you know, driving my brother and I to those frost, frosty cold winter mornings in Minnesota to my games and practices, early mornings, and my dad who really taught me uh, what it was to have work ethic. Uh, I know they are looking down at me right now, very proud and would have loved being a part of this ceremony. And I'd like to thank you, Mom and Dad. I really miss you and love you very much. I'd also like to thank my brother Larry and my sister Connie who couldn't make it here today as well. Um, I was the youngest of three and they sort of beat me up a little bit and toughened me up. I know they're the great supporters of me and I know they're very proud of me. I'd like to thank my high school sweetheart, my, my wife Karn. She has been the backbone of our family. She's had to put up with me for over 30 years and I know that's hard and I don't know why she does it. She's always been there for me in good times and bad. She has much to do with this day more than anyone. She's published a book, became a Minnesota state senator, runs her own real estate company and she still finds time for us. You are incredible. You mean everything to me. Thanks for putting up with me, and I love you very much. To my kids, Taylor, who has brought in our first grandson, Lewis, sweet Lou, Reed, Wilson, and Avery. You guys taught me a lot about life, what a hash hashtag was, Twitter and Facebook. No, but really, every time we moved, you guys looked at it as a new opportunity, a new adventure always doing with a great attitude and, and, and making those transitions so smooth. I thank you and love you very much for it. I'd like to thank the community of South St. Paul where I grew up. It has a history of great hockey tradition. It's a blue collar town with very proud people. You come to appreciate the people, the coaches, and the friends who started to shape you as a young man. You just never forget where you grew up. I'd like to thank Doug Woog, my high school coach for four years. He was ahead of his time, innovative, and moved me from center to defense when I was a freshman. You taught me a lot about the game and gave me the best chance to go from high school to the pros. USA Hockey had a major impact uh, and allowed me a two-game tryout in Germany to try to make the U.S. national team in 1982 for the World Championships in Finland before I was drafted and still in high school. I wanted to make that team and I'll never again forget playing against the Red Army and Wayne Gretzky. It was this experience which was a great measuring stick heading into my first draft. I'd also like to thank the Buffalo Sabres organization 
and Scotty Bowman, who was coach and general manager at the time, picked me in the first round and sixth overall. They took a chance on a high school kid that probably weighed 165 pounds soaking wet and gave me an opportunity. I'd like to thank all the teams, coaches, players, and trainers that I've had over the last 21 years when I played. You're the biggest reason why I stand up here today. There are so many great players and coaches that it would be hard to recognize all of you. Many of them are Hall of Famers today, but there's one coach I'd like to mention, Brian Sutter, who coached me in Calgary and Chicago late in my career. He really believed in me and it meant a lot to me. I guess if there's one message that I'd like to deliver is why our kids are focusing on one sport. I remember playing football, hockey, and baseball when I was in high school and looked forward to the change of sports and seasons. I got the chance to meet and create new friends. Just enjoy being a kid, have fun, enjoy playing different sports, and build your athleticism. There is always time to do for the sport you love. And in closing, uh, what the heck. I know I've taken a lot of grief over the years for this helmet, but I thought I'd bring it out one more time. I'd like to thank Jofa. You're going into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> You know, the game has given so much to me and my family. I accept this great, great honor on behalf of my family and friends, and I know I'll cherish this day for the rest of my life. Thank you.